Hello everyone and welcome back to Notes Naka. In this video, we are going to talk about pixel connectivity. So uh, this is a quite important topic and it might hold some marks in our semester exams. And besides that, it is a very important topic because our further uh, concepts will be based on this. So what is pixel connectivity? Two pixels are said to be connected if they are adjacent in some sense. That means uh, by looking at it, we, we might uh, come to a conclusion that they have some relationship between them. Then they can be called as connected. So there are two conditions that uh, two pixels must um, follow to be known as connected. And they are, they should be neighbors. It can be N4 neighbor, ND means N diagonal neighbor or N8 neighbor. And their intensity values that are the gray level values must be similar. So if these two are uh, met, then the two pixels are said to be connected. For a binary MSB, two points P and Q will be connected if Q is a neighbor of P or P is a neighbor of Q and the brightness of P is equal to brightness of Q or the intensity levels are same. So if this is P and this is Q, if they must be neighbors, they are neighbors and their intensity values should be same to be known as connected. So now let's take a look at an example. So here let V is a set of gray levels used to define, define connectivity of pixel. So we have seen what V is in M adjacency as well. So basically this is uh, giving us the pixel value which will define the connectivity between two pixels. So it should be one basically in this case. So this is our image and these are our values. So first comes four connected, then we have eight connected and M connected. For four connected, first of all, P and Q should belong to V and P should be a N4 neighbor of Q. So if this is P and this is Q, then both the intensity levels are one. So the first is uh, ticked and then the second uh, in the second condition. And since we have and we have to satisfy both the conditions. So P should be uh, N4 neighbor of Q. Is P a N4 neighbor of Q? Yes, it is. So it is four connected. Now let's check uh, what is eight connected. P and Q belong to V first of all. So P and Q, yes, they are belonging to V and this must be also a N8 neighbor. So yes, they are N8 neighbor. If we keep Q over here, it will still satisfy as it is a N8 uh, an neighbor. If we keep Q over here, Will it satisfy? No, because the first, uh, our first one will only be violated. We don't even need to check the second one because the intensity levels are not same. Now, after that comes the M connected. For M connected, first of all, P and Q should belong to V. This is our first condition in anything. So, uh, let's, for this example, let's take Q over here. So yes, they both are having the same intensity levels. After that, Q should uh, belong to N4 of P. That means it should be a N4 neighbor. Is it an N4 neighbor? No. If it is not, then we have OR over here. We have another condition that we can check. So if it is not, it is same as M adjacency. This uh, over here is same as M adjacency. So if you are confused about that, then please refer the previous videos to be confident enough with these. So Q belongs to N D of P. Is it a na uh, diagonal neighbor? Yes, it is. So it is satisfying this. After that, we have an AND condition. N for P intersection N for Q should not be no value from V. So uh, if we find out the N4 of P, we'll have 1, 0, 0, 0. And for Q, we will have 0, 0. So the intersection will be 0. So uh, is it? any of the value from V. No, it is not. So yes, it is M connected. So that is how we solve these problems. And this is all about connectivity. I hope this uh, was a clear video explanation. If you did like it, then please give us a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends who might need these resources. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye. Take care.